Uh, my name is Craig Nadell, and I'm co-owner of the Hair Razor Barbershop with my wife, Joy. We are probably the, the oldest family-owned barbershop uh, in the Valley right now. Well, my father established this barbershop in 1958. He's from New York, and he's the third-generation barber. After going to college, I figured that maybe learning a trade might be better, so I became a barber, and I've been cutting hair here since 1985. Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus outbreak declared a global pandemic and now the extreme new measures in the U.S. And there are fears that the Dow will drop and drop quickly and we're already seeing that, that we will see markets in free fall this morning here in the U.S. as they have done. 30 million people out of work. Almost 100,000 small businesses permanently closed since the pandemic. We weren't sure for how many months we'd be shut down and what kind of financial impact that was going to cause us. We didn't have time to like even put a sign up on the front door letting people know. Obviously we came back and did that, but you know, there was no notice to where we could, you know, tell clients, you know, next Thursday we're going to be closed. It was very immediate. At one point actually, you know, we thought we might have to shut the doors, you know, but uh, thank God we've got some, some great people that have, that have stepped up and helped us. and. Um, and we're still here today. This last year has been hard because, um, well, I lost my mother to COVID uh, about eight weeks ago, and um, that was very difficult. And uh, she she was in lockdown, and um, I'm sympathetic to the older people and what they endure and what they have to endure. And I'm losing people quite a bit. I mean, I've been doing this 36 years, and a lot of my clients are in their 90s and um, getting close to 100, and and their family. So when I get that call from a wife or a daughter or a son saying uh, their father passed away, um, it's, it's tough because I feel like I lost one of my, my family because that's how I treat everybody that comes in as family. He loves his clients and not being able to be with them and experience, you know, go through the things that they're normally going through, you know, birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, weddings, etc. It really affected him, and he had some really dark, bad days where, you know, his heart was really hurt. I have generations that have come in, and I can tell stories from the past generations to, to the, their, their kids and their grandkids, you know, and, um, and that's great, you know. I'm kind of like a teacher. They come back and, and, you know, they say there's the old barber, and. I turn around, I look for my father, and he's not here anymore, so I'm the old barber. So when I started in here, I didn't have a name. They called me the kid, because all the barbers were older, you know? So they would call up and, you know, they would go, you know, is the kid there? And now they're calling up and saying, is the old guy there? You know, so uh, that's okay, you know? I'm okay with that. You know? The um, fishing poles on my wall here were given to me by a client, and he made those uh, during World War II. They're made out of bamboo and they're one piece. And he hand tied all the threading himself on there. The, um, the ships that are up on top were um, models that my grandfather did about 75 years ago. Our customers are our family. And I think it's a little different because it's, this is the only shop that we own. And you know, it's, this is where I grew up in here and I think people feel that when they come in they feel like going you know they're coming to, um, back to home you know they're their home so I'm proud to be a barber I'm the fourth generation in my family the conversations I've had with my clients through the years all the veterans um, from all the wars that have come in my oldest clients 102 years old um, he comes from Newport Beach to see me um, it's hearing these stories it's hearing the real life stories of the people and that's what I enjoy I love history. Uh, yes, I love to, to cut hair and create styles for people, but it's more than that. It's, it's finding out more about the people behind the hair. You know, that's what keeps me going, um, is, is the stories. Everybody that's in my chair has their own story and their, whole, their own life, and um, that's what I enjoy about it, is, you know, every day is a different day. You know, haircuts are the same, but every story is different. And, and that's what, that's what keeps me going. 36 years I've been doing this, and I, I plan on keep going for indefinitely. Wait. <laughs> what?